Hi, my name is Peter Anufrik, and I'm an Intel Fellow and serve as the NVMe Technical Workgroup Chair. Today, I'll be discussing NVMe specification refactoring and new things that are part of the NVMe 2.0 family of specifications. The NVMe 2.0 base spec contains the basic functionality needed to define an NVM subsystem. We took the NVMe 1.4 base specification, pulled out PCIe transport specific content and the NVM command set into their own specifications. We moved the non-transport specific architecture content from the fabric specification into the base specification. We then added support needed for multiple command sets, command group control, domains and partitions, and endurance group management. Finally, we added the technical proposals that were passed between the NVMe 1.4 specification and 2.0 specification, including support for rotational media. The NVMe specifications have evolved over the years. When we developed NVMe of our fabrics, we didn't want to disrupt the NVMe specification as PCIe SSDs were growing in popularity. So we renamed the NVMe specification, the NVMe base specification, and kept its focus on the core aspects of the NVMe architecture and PCIe transports. As a result, fabric transports associated with RDMA and NVMe over TCP were put into a new NVMe over fabric specification. With NVMe 2.0, we pulled all PCIe specific items out of the base specification and put them into a new PCIe transport specification. We also eliminated the NVMe over fabric specification and put transport specific items into their own specific transport specifications. So for example, we now have an NVM Express over TCP transport specification. The remaining items in the fabric specification were moved into the base specification. The NVM IO command set was also pulled out of the base specification and put into its own NVM Express NVM command set specification. In theory, the bare minimum would be the base specification, which includes the admin command set and one transport specification. In practice, an IO command set is needed like the NVM command set specifications. The base specification defines the admin command set, which deals with administrative things like how to initialize a controller, create queues and so forth. NVMe technology, however, is all about reading and writing the storage, which means an IO command set is central. The IO command sets defined in the NVMe 2.0 family of specifications are the NVM command set, the key value command set, and the zone namespace command set. So in theory, the bare minimum is two specifications, but in practice, you really need three specifications. Historically, NVMe command sets were tightly integrated into the base specification. To refactor the NVMe standard and enable standalone command sets, a lot of restructuring was needed. In the NVMe 2.0 base specification, we defined the new mechanism for supporting up to 64 command sets and the pieces necessary to support these multiple command sets. In addition to separating the base NVM command set from the base specification, we also defined the zone namespace command set, ZNS, and the key value command set, KV. Domains are also a major new feature of the NVMe 2.0 base specifications. The domains define how an NVM subsystem may be partitioned. The domain definition in the base specification also specifies how domains may be added, removed, or reconfigured, and how an NVM subsystem signals a domain change to the host. The lockdown feature is also a significant new feature and provides a level of security for client applications. The lockdown command may be used to prohibit execution of a command or modification of a feature in an NVM subsystem. Support for hard drives was also added to the release of the NVMe 2.0 family of specifications, which now allows NVMe HDDs to be seamlessly incorporated into the NVMe ecosystem. Visit the NVM Express website at nvmexpress.org to learn more about the NVMe base specification and the new TPs released with the NVMe 2.0 family of specifications. I encourage you to check out the NVM Express YouTube channel for video interviews that discuss the new command sets, transport specs, and features in more detail.